So I've been getting a lot of SoundCloud monetization questions in my comments for my videos. So in today's video, I'm gonna go right into SoundCloud monetization, what's required, how do you qualify, how do you set it up, where do you get your ISRC code from, and if you don't have an ISRC, how do you generate one? What's the benefits of SoundCloud monetization? I'm gonna go over all of that in this video, so let's jump right into it. I wanna keep this video short, so let's jump right into it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment below because by doing that, you're supporting my channel. I'm giving you guys a bunch of free knowledge. So support my channel and subscribe below. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna try to keep this video short. So the first thing you need to know about SoundCloud monetization is basically what is it? So SoundCloud monetization is basically SoundCloud paying it's uh, creators for uploading their music to their platform. Similar to like how Spotify does it, and Spotify pays you per stream, um, SoundCloud is starting to pay its creators for uploading music to their platform. Why? Because the more people listen to the music on the platform, the more advertising uh, SoundCloud can show its listeners, as well as the more paid uh, monthly subscribers SoundCloud can bring on its platform. So SoundCloud wins when they pay their creators because the creators uploading their music will bring more people to their platform, which means they can make more money from advertising and also subscription. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, what is SoundCloud monetization? What does it actually look like on a SoundCloud profile? So a lot of you guys have been hitting me up saying you don't see SoundCloud monetization and I'm gonna cover that in this video, but basically um, you can upload tracks and when you upload tracks, uh, if you go to edit, you go to monetization, uh, you'll be able to monetize your music, right? And this means that now I can start making money from this song. Um, so let's use this song for example. Uh, say I wanted to monetize this song. Um, first, I would click monetization. I would select, um, so I'm also a member of Repost, so I can either monetize on Repost or monetize directly from SoundCloud. I like to monetize directly from SoundCloud. Um, I don't think it matters, but I just feel more comfortable um, monetize from SoundCloud. I don't really use Repost like that. So I would put, my artist name on all of these territories. Not every location allows you to monetize. So these are all the location that allows you to monetize. So I put my artist name on all those. Once I do that, I go over to Meta. I put in my artist name and then I either upload or input my uh, ISRC code if I have one. Um, when I self-release, I use DistroKid, so my ISRC lives on DistroKid, and it's basically just a code that, a universal code that allows all the platforms to identify your song as this code. And now when all the platforms use this code, they can just send data or use that code as the, the house for where they need to put all the information or get all the information from that song. So um, I don't have an ISRC uh, code for this song. So what you would do is you'd create one, you'd create an ISRC code. I'm not gonna actually do it because I'm not gonna actually um, monetize this song, um, but that's how you do it. It's that simple. A lot of you guys don't see this tab and I'm gonna go into why you don't see it. So another thing that I wanna show you guys while we're on the topic of monetization is how you can actually monetize your, your songs really fast. So if you click top right, there's going to be a SoundCloud, there's gonna be three dots, click the three dots, um, hit SoundCloud monetization. And now you have to input your personal information, 
Um, SoundCloud pays you through PayPal, so you gotta input your PayPal information, and um, then they give you the option of uh, actually starting to monetize your tracks. Um, I have a lot of tracks not monetized because they're they're unreleased or you're still work in progress, but you could just come here and it tells you this track it could be monetized, this track could be monetized, this track could be monetized. So how do you monetize it? You click the edit, you um, go to monetization, you click monetize, um, you um, put your artist name or you put repost, however you want to get paid. Um, and then you come and put in your ISRC code or you create an ISRC code and also put in your artist name. And that's pretty much it. It's that simple. Now for those of you who do not see uh, monetization, let's go over the eligibility. Premiere eligibility. Um, I have other videos talking about this, but to briefly go over this in this video, I think it would be really helpful for you guys. So. First thing is you must be an independent creator, meaning you own all the rights to your music and must be produce, producing original content. You must own 100% of the rights. You must have zero copyright strike at the time you enroll. So all you guys uploading other people's music, trying to make money from other people's music and getting copyright uh, claims, you can't monetize. You must be a SoundCloud Pro or Pro Unlimited subscriber. You must have at least 500 eligible streams in the past month. Real streams. As you can see, the last point says humans are listening to your tracks. Bot streams will not be counted. You can only monetize in certain countries. So if you aren't in any of these countries, you cannot monetize on SoundCloud. So a lot of you guys who are saying that you can't see monetization uh, tab, what country are you in? There was this other one. Okay, so here, if you're in any of these countries, you cannot monetize. And the reason you cannot monetize is because SoundCloud uses PayPal. PayPal is not eligible in some countries and all the countries that it's not eligible in, then uh, you can't monetize there. So that's the eligibility. Now, how does SoundCloud monetization actually work? So, in the past, when people uh, streamed your music, SoundCloud will pull all the streams into one and then divide up the total royalty collected um, to all the artists. This gave really big artists um, majority of the money because they would rack in most of the streams, which gave the little guys pretty much no income or royalty. However, SoundCloud changed its model to a fan-powered royalty, which means that everyone who listens to your music, that listen or stream counts towards your monetization. It is no longer pulled in with everyone else's music. So this is why it's important to consistently upload music because every time someone listens to your music you're getting credited for that if you have monetization on how much does pro unlimited actually cost so i got the answer for you as well pro unlimited costs 12 dollars a month you have to pay it all up front so that's 144 dollars up front and that gives you access to you can actually look through it. i'm not going to go through all of it but it gives you access to soundcloud monetization and um yeah, so if you're not using repost by SoundCloud, having Pro Unlimited also gives you access to uh, SoundCloud monetization, which that's what I'm using. I'm using uh, Pro Unlimited because it gives me unlimited upload time. I upload a lot of music. I'm an actual artist that produce music all the time. So I upload a lot of music because I want to listen to my music while I'm doing other activities. So I'm constantly re-uploading, making adjustments, re-uploading, making adjustments. However, if you don't want to pay $144, then you can use Repost by SoundCloud and only pay $2.50 per month. Now, Repost by SoundCloud, it's SoundCloud's distribution platform. So in the past, I used DistroKid to distribute all my music. So DistroKid was my 
um, distribution platform. If you use repost by SoundCloud, SoundCloud is not your distribution platform, which means that any streams that you make off of Spotify or any other platform, any sales from Apple Music, you would get paid through SoundCloud for that song. Um, now, if you have uh, SoundCloud Pro Unlimited and all you do is upload the, the ISRC code, then um, since you are distributing this song from other platforms, you're gonna get paid through those platforms. So you won't see income coming in through SoundCloud, even though you have monetization on, on SoundCloud. Basically it comes through SoundCloud, SoundCloud sees that you have an ISRC code from another distributor. They send the money to the distributor and then you get paid through that distributor. So for your, those of you who aren't getting making money from uh, SoundCloud specifically, that's probably because you're using the ISRC code and getting paid from the distributor instead. Now, if you have like an 80-20 split from the distributor, the distributor is going to take some of your money. Um, with uh, DistroKid, I made 100% of everything. So any money that I made from SoundCloud, DistroKid will give me everything. But not all distributors are like that. Some distributors take 80 and take 15%, um, some take 10, some take 20. So you're not making money from SoundCloud and you have monetization on, but you're using a, a ISRC code, then that that's probably another reason why you're not making money from SoundCloud. Okay, so now let's go into repost by SoundCloud. With repost by SoundCloud, um, again, that costs $2.50 a month. Um, and what's cool about repost by SoundCloud is uh, it automatically gives you monetization. So say you have the basic plan or Pro Unlimited and you wanna qualify for um, monetization, but you don't meet the eligibility. Remember on, uh, Pro Unlimited, you, there's certain criteria that you have to meet in order to be eligible for monetization. If you do not meet any of those and you still want to monetize your track, then Repost by SoundCloud. If you were to use Repost by SoundCloud, then you would automatically be eligible for monetization if your country allows it. So for those of you who do not qualify or do not get enough streams to qualify for Repost, by SoundCloud uh, or for monetization, then if you use repost by SoundCloud, then you automatically get SoundCloud monetization. Basically, you just click SoundCloud monetization. All your music will be linked um, automatically. And basically, you just click submit for monetization. Enter your information. It'll automatically generate you an ISRC code and um, that's pretty much it. And then you, you start monetizing. So I'm not gonna fill this in because I don't wanna monetize this, but you can literally just go through this and monetize all your tracks. And you can also add artwork, track artwork. Um, I, again, don't use um, Repost by SoundCloud to distribute, distribute my music, so I cannot add artwork. See, here's some um, criteria. The track must be monetized on SoundCloud. You must have at least one approved distributed uh, release with Apple Music and Spotify through repost by SoundCloud. So, since I do not have that, I'm not eligible to put uh, artwork on my track, but for those of you who wanna get monetization, don't meet the criteria, and you wanna use SoundCloud, uh, repost by SoundCloud, distribute your music, Adding artwork is a game changer because it makes your music stand out from everyone else's. So I highly encourage you guys to use Repost by SoundCloud. And what's dope is you can do banner click-throughs, which is basically turning your banner into a clickable link, which is fire, which means you can start sending other people to other locations. Um, for example, you can send people to your Instagram if they click on it. So banner click-through is sick. You can also start promoting your music on SoundCloud. You could pitch your music to, to labels. You can, um, you can do a bunch of things if you use repost by SoundCloud that us normal <laughs> users cannot do. So 
there you have it guys hope you guys found value from that that's the full walkthrough of um, SoundCloud monetization using Pro Unlimited and also if you use repost by SoundCloud so by using repost by SoundCloud you could get a banner click through you can have featured profiles you can also have track art which is sick um, but if I click on the banner it sends me to this person's Facebook page that's unreal um, unfortunately I don't use repost by SoundCloud so I don't have access to doing that but I'm going to hit up um, Jeff uh, who runs repost by SoundCloud see if he can release this feature to everyone um, because that's something I would use uh, that's something I would pay for and it'll keep me as a fan on uh, SoundCloud to start putting my music on SoundCloud so I'm gonna see um, what they can do but yeah hope you guys found value from this video if you did find value from this video subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and drop me a comment if your soundcloud monetization monetization still doesn't work after this video then um let me know in the comments and i will hit up the 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 soundcloud team and see what they can do to help you out